Hi, welcome to Pletsky Productions Christmas. I know it's not even Christmas 2020 yet, but now's a good time to start planning for Christmas 2021. And I'll tell you why. My show is up and running um, and it's going smoothly so far, but I still have all my tools out in case I need to do repairs. I'm in the Christmas mood right now. I'm thinking about Christmas and I've been thinking about displays. So now is a good time to, to start thinking without feeling like I have, I have to rush to get things done. Um, so I'm brainstorming and planning for next year's show. Also, I wanted to take a minute and, and send out a big thank you for those of you who subscribed. Um, I got an email from YouTube that I have officially met the 100, 100 subscribers. So thank you. So let's talk about planning. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is staging. There's a, a lot of things that, that people do uh, when they set up their light show. Um, this is an amateur hobby, so we have a lot of amateurs who may be good at one thing but may need some assistance in another. I know I, everything about this is a learning curve, so I want to talk about how you want to stage everything. A lot of people buy lots of props or they build lots of props and a lot of them are the same and they group them all together. So they have all their trees in one area. Um, they have all their, I don't know, snowflakes in another area. They have all of one other type of prop in another area. And it could, I mean, it still looks organized and nice. Um, it's not the way I wanted to do my show. I wanted to have a variety of, of props, um, but also set them up in more of an organic layout. So I, I, wanted, I was picturing kind of an outdoor uh, winter scene. So I have my trees staggered, and then I also have some reindeer that I wanted to intermingle in the trees and make it look like they were how you would see them in nature. I mean, minus them covered in lights. So with my display this year, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. There are some key areas that I want to improve for next year. Uh, one of which is my house outline. Firstly, it needs updating. I used the uh, mounting strips that are zip tied to uh, conduit. And then I, I bought these clips that are usually used to hang up brooms and mops and stuff on your wall, but I screwed those in around the house and then just clipped the conduit in, which works fantastic for setup and tear down. It's, it's a really quick process to clip those in, plug them in, move on to the next one, clip them in. It, it really doesn't take much time. However, the mounting strips, I have the, the white uh, mounting strips that are made for it. They, the plastic that they're made out of gets brittle. Um, and this is the third year I've set them up. I've had issues with the plastic cracking um, just because they've been exposed, exposed to the UV lights and <clears throat> uh, just being out in the, the weather in the sun. They, they tend to yellow a little bit. And when they, that also comes along with them getting a little brittle. If you're careful, they can last quite a few years. Um, but if you drop them by accident or uh, they get bumped into something or, I mean, they can crack and then your pixels aren't in there as well as they should be. Um, I have had to hot glue some of the pixels in because they kept falling out. The holes got a little loose. So I want to do something more permanent. I want to, uh, which is going to require either like a U-channel, like a metal U-channel um, that will also hide the cords, um, but something that's, that's not going to break down in the sun and the weather. So that's one thing I want to work on for next year. Also, I, right now my lights don't go all the way up on the second story. Um, so I do want to be able to hit that top peak uh, with my lights. Currently I don't have a ladder and I don't feel safe getting up there. Um, well, I do have a ladder, just not one tall enough to get up there. There's not an easy way to get up there. So I'd like to do something more permanent that would just be a one-time installation, but also make it easy enough to take down if I need to repair or swap out any pixels. Um, I just need an easier way to get up there. 
Okay, so the house outline, I wanna do a U-channel probably underneath the soffit so it's protected from the weather and also run the wires to the garage. Right now they're running to the front porch, um, but if I could run them to the garage, that would be excellent. Have everything inside. Um, also I want, right now my house outline is just the horizontal lines. Um, I wanna include some verticals. So I need to map that out and do something that, that will make the house look nice. There's also um, some areas on the house that could use more lights. Right now I just have three snowflakes mounted in the house outline, that's it. So I'm gonna um, replace the two older snowflakes with my new design. So I'll take the pixels off of those old ones and recreate new ones. Uh, new, bigger, better, brighter, just a better design. And then I'll make um, a few more snowflakes because I really like that design and I think they look nice on the house. So I'll use that same design, just uh, scale it up or scale it down so I have a variety. One thing that I've steered away from on my show is a big rectangular matrix. Nothing against them, I just wanted to do something different. Um, so I'm thinking I want to use some matrices this next year, but I want to do it in a more creative or different way. I think the, the tree that I have that's full of circles, right now there's nothing in the middle of those circles, and I think if I put circle matrices in all of the circles, it could, it could really pop. And then I want to build a second tree, probably the same size, but instead of circles, do triangles and then inside the triangles do triangular matrices. And then maybe make it even look like the wind's blowing some of those triangles off of the tree and have a couple in the yard. And then maybe put circle matrices and triangular matrices, circular and triangular matrices on the house maybe. Or I may just stick with snowflakes on the house. Now let's talk about if you have an idea, if this is your first year, uh, where to start, what to buy, how much to buy, I'm probably not the best person to ask regarding how to plan for an order. Um, I tend to just buy some stuff and then play with it. And if I need more stuff, then I order more stuff. That ends up um, providing me with extras of stuff and not enough of other things. <clears throat> However, it does let me have kind of a stockpile that if, if, a, if creativity strikes, I have some stuff to play with. For example, the deer that I use, um, those are actually made from other people's discarded lawn ornaments. I just kept the wire frame and I used the mounting strips that most people use on their uh, mega trees and I put pixels on the deer in the shape of deer and they turned out really well. So if, if I didn't have extra strips, if I had only ordered what I was gonna use, I wouldn't have come up with that. If you currently have a show or if you're thinking of getting into it, um, it's probably too late for this year to put something together. However, it's not too late to start ordering stuff and start thinking about next year. And don't get discouraged if you really wanted to get something up this year and you haven't started yet. Just go ahead and, and order stuff as you, as you were going to because right now you're in the mood to do it. So go ahead and order the stuff, get into it, start playing with it, start doing stuff, maybe not uh, actually install it on the house yet. But if you have a, a workshop or a basement to start playing around with it, go ahead and get started. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. In the next episode, we'll do uh, some model building. I'll show you my process, which I'm constantly developing, but I'll show you my process for uh, what materials to choose, what tools you're gonna need, and then just how I go about making a model. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you do not miss any of the episodes.